All right, Gary, what are we playing this week? Well, cool. I was at a thrift store and I bought an encyclopedia of knife games. Ooh, Mumbledy Peg, the knife game, knifey spoony. Yeah. There's M- Mumbledy Peg. There's also the one with your feet. Yeah. You know, where you throw a knife at, at the foot. Oh, yeah, I, thought that, you... I wouldn't know if that was Mumbly Peg or which one was Mumbly Peg. I, I don't know. Uh, Mumbly Peg. Let's, uh, let's, that, that might be the foot one. Mumbly Peg. Yeah. Uh, it's, an, it's an outdoor game played with pocket knives. Uh, it sound, uh, sounds like the foot one. Yeah. Uh, it came from the practice of putting a peg about two or three inches of the ground. The loser of the game had to take it out with his teeth. Oh, so you just threw, threw the knife into the ground and had to pick it up with your teeth. <laughs> that didn't sound so bad. Well, we, we, we're going to skip that one. We're going to skip the mumbledy peg chapter and move straight on to like the foot one we were thinking about uh-huh. and the uh, thing. And I thought, you know, there are a lot of games that are named after a part of the body. Mm. Um, and I figured you'd play a series of these knife games and uh, whichever part of your body got picked randomly. Okay. Would suggest a game. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll climb up on this wheel. Um, and if you want to put mm-hmm. in a blindfold and throw some of these bad boys at me, uh, we can go. Yeah, that, that's in that's in the knife that's in the the, the index. Yeah, can, as far as knife games, can, can I uh, can, can I wear gauntlets and armor? <laughs> what do you think? No, I, I can't believe this book got pulled from the market. Can you imagine one hundred and one kids knife games got pulled from the market? <laughs> yeah, no, they it was it was uh, lost in the jarts purge of eighty four. The back there's advertisements for all these books that never came out, like knife games for girls. Hmm. You know, and these all got canceled. It fucking sucks, man. Yeah, yeah. Knife 100, game. 101 asbestos craft projects. Yeah, with knives. <laughs> yeah. A bigger knife. Um, yeah, so get on get on this wheel. Okay. And if I, you could tell that I'm dedicated to the show because if I was just trying to torture you, I'd just spin it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I don't even need to get the knife out, man. No. Whatever part you horf on or diarrhea <laughs> on first is the one we do. At the uh, Porcano Los Dos. <laughs> like, oh my god it's a sprinkler it's one of those uh those fireworks oh yeah no, that, um, that, that, that's how it propels there's no motor behind this thing yeah. <laughs> it just, it's a, we invented the first perpetual motion machine <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna attach this to a steamboat the classiest riverboat gambling boat this side of the mississippi and <laughs> the whole rolling coal uh, and it's just going to spin. <laughs> and, uh, well, um, dowagers aboard. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> All right. Blip, blip, blip. <laughs> Never mind the sound. Uh, Here. <laughs> uh, just doing back rock? <laughs> So, uh, yes, yeah, so I'll hop up on here. Uh, we're just, uh, the circus music is playing. I'm spinning. Gary, you might want to make this quick. Well, we're, let's okay. uh, toss and I'll tell you and... what you hit. <laughs> Ow! Oh, God, my knuckle! I can't, I can't believe I hit you. I, I mean... Pretty good. I'm pretty good at this. I, you might have a... Uh, take this show on the road, boy. I, I can't believe we got this on audio. I'm happy. Yeah, my, no, my, I, uh, you know, my there's evidence. Yeah, and now people think that I left the yakuza in disgrace because you really mm-hmm. got my you got my pinky knuckle real good. It's kind of dangling. You do the time. You may yeah, as well do the crime, man. I suppose. Okay. Um, knuckle. Up. Uh, game computer's that. going. Um, knuckles is chaotic. Yep, not a word. Nope. My name is Gary Butterfield. My name is Cole Ross. And you're listening to Abject Suffering. Abject Suffering, we fail the Organization 13 exam. Ask us anything. What the fuck is Organization 13? It's from Kingdom Hearts, my friend. Oh, Guess God. how many members there are. Oh, I, yeah, you've talked about this. It's not yeah, 13. It's not 13. It fucking it's, sucks. It's like how the Big Ten has like uh, 13 uh, teams now, something like that. Yeah. Except yeah. the Big Ten uh, follows the rules of reality because like other football teams do uh-huh. and stuff. Right. That yeah. happened. So they, right. they, they had to add more people. <laughs> right. Uh, in Kingdom Hearts, they just decided. Yeah. And it's like, from ooh. the start to make it not count. Wouldn't it be cool if we just lied? <laughs> yeah. 
It's fucking genre of lies. <laughs> uh, this week, uh, this is a, this is a coal pick. Um, mm-hmm. uh, but also this was put into the, into the randomizer by our friend, Sean. Um, this is Knuckles Chaotix. Uh, what Sean says is the dirt worst to Sonic game of the 2d era, uh, bizarre two player mode, random level selection, impossible quote, real ending. Can't wait to hear you guys talk about it. I, I didn't know this was extant. Oh, you didn't. This is kind no, of, I've the, never heard of a, a Knuckles Chaotix. This is, this is infamous. Um, not yeah. just because it plays like horse garbage, uh, but because like, this is the earliest and highest concentration of Sonic shitty friends. I, I, I've never, believe it or not, I've never done a deep dive to figure out where Sonic's shitty friends came from. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, now, now I know. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, at first there was Sonic, then there was Sonic and yeah. Tails. And then there was Sonic and Knuckles. You had three of them. And I would say like just a pretty consistent, like downward slope of coolness between all of them. Right. I think even, even there. So it's like Sonic, it was already, you know, the teen. Yeah. And then tails was the D teen. If I know like, what if the teen had to watch his baby brother? Right. You know, it's like a teen and a baby. The excitement of that. (laughs) And I think that you can really pinpoint where Sonic started to just like absolutely suck balls with knuckles because it was like sonic isn't dark and edgy enough we, we need to like, it's like i mean knuckles yeah. is literally can we rostify him by about 10 percent yeah like and but sonic was already kind of that yeah you know yeah. sonic was already supposed to be that kind of badass and they're mm-hmm. like you know they were letting us know in no uncertain terms we're dealing with extremely subtle matters of degrees <laughs> we're gonna have multiple kinds of like shitty teen just big 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 eyed anthropomorphic animals that will form just basically just a, a template for OCs uh, throughout yep. the end of time. Yeah. Uh, so I, 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 I don't know. I walked into this. I, I put this up thinking, hey, this will be fun to talk about. Talk about just the, the, the shitty the, friends, the shitty friends the crew. Uh, the, the, that yeah, are that are introduced here. The, <laughs> the, the, the team the, the you know, the, the, the team that makes up Knuckles is chaotic. Uh, you know me, Gary. I was a Sonic kid growing up. Uh, mm-hmm. Sonic kid uh, may have been a component of a few of my AOL screen names back in the day. You know, <laughs> um, I had never, I, I never played this before today when I fired this up. Oh, because, really? Yeah, because back the in the day, X. right? So yeah, this is for the thirty two X, the add on to the Genesis that they rushed out because they weren't finishing the Saturn on time. Uh, God, Sega yeah. in the mid nineties. I know there's a book written about it. I want to read that book because it, what a fucking nightmare. <laughs> it's so obvious in retrospect why Sega lost uh-huh. all of this stuff because they were constantly tripping on their own dicks. Yep. <laughs> like doing shit like this. Like I knew so I knew somebody, uh my my second girlfriend's uh younger brother had a 32X. Okay. Uh so I, I didn't uh you know, so I, I played a 32X. I didn't play this game. Mm-hmm. But like what a nightmare. Yeah. What a shitty nightmare that was as a as a platform. Mm-hmm. How stupid. It's pretty you bad know, for, like, for, for people who figure, don't know. Figure of ridiculousness. For, for people who don't know, this is like a tumor that you put into the top of your uh, into the top of your Sega Genesis um, that like used the video output, or actually no, like you had to like put the video output from the 32x in line with the Genesis video output, and like different parts of the screen be, would be rendered by different soft by different hardware as well. Mm-hmm. So like if you put the 32x version of um, uh, Primal Rage into it like only certain things to be rendered like the background stage um and the uh uh, so if you put that version into just the genesis only the background and the life bars would be rendered the characters would have had to be rendered by the 32x it was really really hacked together yeah yeah (laughs) and it's also the kind of like everything in the internet now things that are bad or people like Mm mm-hmm you know, so now everyone's just like, oh, this is great. I missed this. You know, and yeah, there's all kinds yeah. of like semi-ironic, semi-real, yeah, but you don't yeah. miss it. It mm-hmm. sucked and it was expensive. Right. And also, uh, you know, a, a, a te- te- technology, it, it kind of thrives, uh, like especially consumer technology on, hey, what's the next, what's the next big thing? 
Um, and mm -hmm. Sega was like, we're not competent enough to put together like the next big thing. How about like multiple iterative, just like kind of shitty things <laughs> that yeah, you let's that you in on our R and D process. Yeah, but, yeah. This is, uh, we're uh, one of the Andrew who plays guitar in my band. Uh huh. Um, he's moving to a house that's really close to the place where we played our first show. Okay. And we're trying to figure out where we're going to practice, and we keep <clears throat> joking about just holding our practices as shows. <laughs> that's what the thirty two X is. Yeah. Yeah, like if we just if we just every time we, we we once a week we just did our practice in the bar and everyone got to hear everything in progress <laughs> as it eventually became something we wanted to show people. It's collaborative. I mean, a lot of people yeah. would sell that as a Patreon post, you know. <laughs> well, now, like, I, but I this this is like some Amanda Palmer ass shit. Yeah, pre Amanda yeah. Palmer, man. <laughs> like, right. This is uh, yeah. Well, I mean, so like uh, you started with Genesis and then you put you you slap the thirty two X on top of there and then you put the Sega CD yeah. on the side of it. Some games required both. So, yep. you know, you were just kind of, I don't know, like ship of Theseus a new console together out of it. Um, well, it's funny too now is <laughs> uh, people didn't do make decisions back in the day based on how things would age. Right. But now all that stuff seems so incredibly silly because you just emulate all of it. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yeah. You know, yeah. Just, just throw emulate the game. Like you don't, I don't need to do anything. You can just play Snatcher, mm -hmm. you know, like it, you don't have to do anything. Yeah. It, so, it could have just been a video game. <laughs> they had to overcomplicate it. So I never played this back in the day, even though I was obsessed with it and obsessed with the characters and stuff because you know, you're a 10 year old kid and there are new characters that you can draw in your notebook at school, right? Yeah. While you're bored in class or whatever, you know, and I, I knew nothing about them aside from like the images that I saw in game pro and the descriptions that I read in game pro. So I had no idea. And then just time went by and I, you know, drifted away from Sonic and mm -hmm. I didn't realize you could emulate 32 X like it is. And I was like, let's finally, let's, let, let's rip the bandit off of the, off of that bad one. Maybe it's yeah. you know not as bad as people said, you know, people said, Oh, this is, you know, slow and confusing and shitty. Uh, and Gary, this is slow and confusing and shitty. I'm so it happy. Is slow and confusing and shitty. <laughs> I'm happy that I didn't, that like, I didn't play this back in the day that my parents didn't bend to me and get a 32 X yeah. or like waste a Christmas present on it or something. I'd they were sell just, the 32 X would have been too, you know? Yeah. 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 Like, no, seriously. No, it's not. No, mom, it's not a new <laughs> thing. Damn it, mom. <laughs> um, yeah, th this is really uh, frustrating and <laughs> ugly. Yep. Uh, and if you if you don't have the DNA where like being vouched for by Sonic doesn't make somebody interesting, you know, like I understand why you, <laughs> as a kid, you were in the pocket for like a Charmy B because you were like hangs out with a guy I like. Right. Yeah. You know, you yeah. know, it's like, oh, Brad's bringing a guy, bringing his friend from college, his roommate from college. And you're like, oh, like, Charmy B's got to be at least a little cool. <laughs> you know, he's, he's friends with Sonic. Uh, but if you don't have that going in, uh, these are the worst characters that have ever been fucking designed. <laughs> like, these are all horrible. It's I fucking really hate them all. And I'm, I meant to believe that a, a B can hold up uh, an uh, Ankita. <laughs> an Echidna? Yeah. Ankita? Yeah. It, 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 like, just hold on to it. Like, it can literally support its weight. Mm hmm. It's a B. I, I, yeah, no, I just, uh, excuse me, Sega, that uh, yeah. uh, stretches plausibility. <laughs> yeah, this this shit sucks, man. Well, and Char bees don't do that. Charmy B would go on to be like the shitty Navi character um, in yeah. uh, the, the the Shadow the Hedgehog game. Like, like of, of these, Charmy B ended up being the one that was like the persistent nuisance, whereas like the other Chaotix like were featured in the comics sometimes and then like were one of the teams available in Sonic Heroes, right? Yeah. yeah. Unless you consider Knuckles to be one of the Chaotix. <sighs> yeah. No, I mean, I, I, I kind of don't. He leads it, but it's kind of like, uh, I don't know. The is, Wolverine is, and the X-Men. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the, uh, precisely with the claws and everything. Yeah, yeah, precisely, <laughs> yeah, precisely, Pre precisely. Uh, but oh, like, yes. I I cannot abide an SBO the chameleon. The SBO is really really ugly. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm I'm watching a long play of this. I played it for a little bit, but I'm watching a long play now, and yeah. it's Knuckles carrying around the alligator. Yep, yeah, Vector. Yeah, Vector. That guy sucks. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, and then I was that Armadillo. That guy uh -huh. fucking sucks. Well, he sucks so I, I bad that, that he that never was... appeared again. <laughs> yeah, he got memory hold. I I can't. Uh, I I have a really hard time with all of these critters and mm -hmm. all of these designs. Yeah. Like, here's the thing about Sonic the Hedgehog. He doesn't look like a hedgehog. Nope. So so the animal part is not the important part of Sonic the Hedgehog to me. Right. You know, he, he's just like, a, he's like a cute little design. He's like a critter. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it doesn't really matter what he is. 
and the the animal stuff was important to the story of Sonic for some reason, but it it was never important to his like character design, right? And the idea that his friends should all be recognizable forest creatures, mm-hmm. you know, or swamp creatures or hive creatures or whatever, always struck me as really weird. Mm-hmm. Like I would have just non not done that at all and just gone with a totally different thing. Yeah, yeah. As of you know, just uh, throw away realism, just let design let design take primacy like make this into a yeah. into a cute and attractive character uh that uh yeah. people people like looking at like a like a sonic you know yeah you know people people like sonic and people like animal characters but it's not always the same people mm-hmm. you know like there there is an appeal to like an animal character like that is a thing yeah um but it would just it felt really weird to shoehorn that into sonic to me mm-hmm so so i mean the, the, these characters and they're just kind of like real you know lazy design like vector the crocodile was like literally just an original prototype version like hey when they were making sonic originally they're like okay what if he was an alligator and let's make a game with an alligator no it's you know hedgehogs are testing better so let's bring vector back to use <laughs> later <are> <laughs> yeah um but so but like each of those characters has like a different ability but that doesn't really come through uh because of the prim- they all have the same ability yeah they all have the same that ability is, which which yeah. is uh holding each other back <laughs> Yeah, it is. Uh, every character holds every character back in this. It is. It would be a powerful metaphor or like a season of the real world in <laughs> Doctor Hands. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, I'm not somebody who is like of the of the school of thought that like Sonic is about running fast, fast, fast. I think that you know it is you know the more more explor- exploration focused than that uh however mm-hmm. um the fact that this is slow is not the is is not necessarily a problem with it it's that they expect you to do sonic stuff while uh being tied together and so like okay i can't go over this uh i can't go around this loop-de-loop or i can't run up this slope because i'm gonna hit the end of this rubber band that i'm attached to because you're literally attached to these other characters by a rubber band like force and then it's gonna yank me back so in order to do in order to make any kind of progress, I have to engage with this physics system. It kind of reminds me of like doing a platformer that is based on a three legged race. Yeah, that's a really good way to put it. You know, like, why hasn't there been a three legged race platformer? <laughs> you know, like, well, I don't know, because the whole point, like, why don't they do a platform where you have to carry an egg and a spoon? <laughs> you know, like it's because yeah, it's it's annoying. Yeah, like it's a, it's an extra challenge mode to this. And you can use it to like slingshot and you know, game momentum and stuff, which is something you could just do magically. Like Sonic Mm. can just say like, I'd like to be faster than I am now. Yeah. Like Sonic is like the, the guys who work at the nuclear power plant in the Hank Scorpio episode. (laughs) He's like, are you guys working? Yes, sir. Mr. Simpson, could you work faster? (laughs) Absolutely. That's what Sonic does. Like there's no reason why Sonic doesn't move at his, you know, blasting speed more often. Uh Uh-huh. Uh, but that was good. That was an acceptable break from reality here. You're using a B Mm-hmm. A mere a mere weakling bee holding back an in in kidna to make an <laughs> kidna go fast, and it just like I check out. Yeah, you know? yeah. I just I, I, like I all your rules. W- w- what I want to do, and well, you still have like the sonic move, so you can do the spin dash and stuff like that. Uh, but it won't it won't transcend the force. So like, why is that mm-hmm. still there? Like, I can do a spin yeah. dash to like get up and over, but if I can't, if that won't drag the other guy along with me, why am I doing it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it is like uh what if this game instead of uh being you know his shitty friends it was uh knuckles just recently got off the chain gang like he's oh. escaped from prison and he has a uh you know ball and chain yeah it's like a cool hand loop kind of thing yeah yeah cool hand knuckles <laughs> you know cool knuckles luke cool like <laughs> Cool knuckles hand, <laughs> I say as I yeah. look down at my hand. <laughs> it bends real good right there. Yeah, it's got multiple points of articulation. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Um, I think that would make more sense yeah. than just like, what if I was chained to these idiots? Yeah. You know? It's, uh, so. it, it's, it's uh, like just very unpleasant in your hands. And like, you can see where this may have like come up and like okay we have this extra computing power we can model these physics like let's try this but it's like their prototyping budget and their actual production budget was the same so like okay we prototyped it ah fuck we need to ship it uh like no you would you would scrap this is what you would do (laughs) 
it, it's it's something that I'm more confident studio realizes like this just isn't going anywhere. Right, right. They're also like the, the detriment ones. You can get like heavy the robot mm-hmm. and he just sucks. Yeah. You know, he's not even a friend. Like it's just like you get you get chained to him as a punishment. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, more or less. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a, is no good in, in addition to it having, uh, you know, and this is, I didn't get that far in this because I was scrambling for the, I get it button, Yeah, yeah. but, um, you know, according to reviews, it's like, oh, the levels are really like boring and bland and the whole game is very easy. Uh, it's really impossible to the, the true ending, but just completing the game is like easier than most Sonic games. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And, and those all feel like considerations for a shitty control scheme, mm-hmm. uh, you know? Yeah. So something yeah. something that is true about the levels that like drove me just crazy over the 20 minutes of this that i played it uh is mm-hmm. that you know sonic stage you have the you know, such and such zone and there 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 are stages in the middle so it's like you know one and then two and they're going to be slightly different in between them uh and this mm-hmm. like you just kind of like reach the end of like a like a stage or whatever and then you just go to the next one there's no like sum up there's no like division i don't even know like if I'm yeah. making progress, additionally, uh, they lean into the kind of implausible space design of these where there are some points of it where it gets a little bit like lost woodsy where like yeah. if you, if you proceed in the wrong direction, you'll just kind of like circle back around or like if you fall in a particular place, you will just kind of like keep falling past the same scenery until you grab stuff. So it's an incredibly disorienting actually. <laughs> It, it is. It also, uh, it, it does a thing where, and this is something that uh, Sonic games have a tendency to do a little bit with me, mm-hmm. but this is worse than usual, which is some foreground background confusion. Yeah. yeah. Like there are things you can go in front of that do not look like you can go in front of them, mm-hmm. which also led to some problems. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the visual design in this is like weird and messy. And I don't know if that's because they could do stuff with sprite scaling on the 32 X that they couldn't do with other stuff. I had more of a problem discerning, um, that, that kind of stuff on this than I have done in old Sonic games, you know, and I've played those, Mm -hmm. you know, a lot of them relatively recently as well. You know, like that's just something that the bonus stages are the slowest thing in the universe. I never got to the bonus stage. It's po- uh, you look polygonal, like you're. Right? I, I did one of them myself. Okay, I watched other ones. You look like you're running in place. No, oh. they're like 3D little Maze Runner things, and there's another one where you're falling. Mm. I didn't do the falling one. I did the little 3D Maze Runner one. But your animation makes it look like you're going fast, but they slowed it down so much. Yeah, that it. it yeah, it's it's very strange looking. Yeah, I need to okay, chaotix bonus stage because I, I have I no need idea to... how I how I got it. Like, yeah. Because I, I I still don't know like the the kind of video game language of like what a bonus stage you know <laughs> right. what you earn this kind of stuff in Sonic like mm-hmm. I don't know I got the right yeah. kind of orb. No, I, I wanted to take a look at this uh, and see because um, uh, just to kind of gauge and put myself back. Yes, if I saw this as a kid or if I played this, I would still be probably like over the fucking moon about it. I probably would defend this. <laughs> I liked it more than the main stages because you're not tethered <laughs> to a, a monster. <laughs> You know, you just get to be the monster and walk around. Yeah. You know? Uh, and I just, like, I really hope I never get, like, one of the things this made me think about was never wanting to be tethered to somebody. against would be home. awful. Yeah. Yeah. Like, in this specific way, I'm not talking about, like, in marriage or whatever. <laughs> right. It's, like a, it's not, a fear, not a fear of commitment kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it, it's like that episode like, of Nathan for you, where, like, w- one of the plans yes. involves finding somebody to, uh, 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 oh, gosh, leave a tip in Michael Richards's name of, of $10,000 and he has to find somebody mm-hmm. to uh, ch- change their name to Michael Richards and he has to give him $10,000 of money from his, from his Holocaust <laughs> charity. <laughs> He's like, he finds out the guy has a criminal background. So he handcuffs himself to him for the night until they make the deposit. <laughs> so good. Uh, yeah, it just, uh, it, it just, just a, a long, a long enough chain to lead from one bed in one hotel room through the adjoining door to the other. I love it. Yeah. No, so I fucking, yeah. I get, I get anxious if I'm like, if I, if I like ride with somebody to a place like, oh, I caught a ride yeah. with you. Are, are you going to leave without me? I don't know. <laughs> Can I leave? Yeah. Without I want to leave. Do you want to leave? Yeah. Oh, unlikely. Like, fucking nightmare. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's one of the things like the ubiquity of um 
like ta- like ride sir ride chairs and phones has yeah. made me a lot happier about is the fact that i can I, like i can always escape oh you can always buzz yeah yeah i can always just like i'll you know, take off call a taxi or a lift or whatever and just like i can go home mm-hmm. always able to go home yeah uh, that is really really cool never have to worry about getting parked in with a lift yep i, I do enjoy that yeah um, we should probably talk about the shitty friends kind of one by one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, mm. uh, <laughs> let's do it. Uh, mighty the armadillo, which I'm not convinced isn't just Sonic wearing a weird, like sweater. A weird sweater <laughs> with like bull horns. Mighty yeah. the armadillo is really, cause that's the thing too, is like, even with, uh, tails and knuckles, they just made them into whatever they made the hedgehog into. Uh huh. Like I get the tails has some Fox features and knuckles has some in kidnap features, but not yeah. really. Mm-hmm. You know, they just look, but then when you throw just a straight up crocodile next to him, it looks, <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> just like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, what's um, funny, what's funny about the crocodile is like, he had the hunched over Sonic adventure posture before Sonic adventure was designed. Yeah. He was a posture King. He was a posture tra- <laughs> uh, trailblazer. <laughs> yeah. Um, but mighty the armadillo, like he was pulled over from an arcade game, Sega Sonic, the hedgehog, which sounds made up, mm-hmm. but is real. Yeah, yeah, Sega Sonic one word. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, he dislikes violence and roughness. Does he, but he's more than capable when trouble arises. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, he has a passion for traveling. <laughs> <laughs> long long walks on the, on the beach. It doesn't, yep. <laughs> doesn't like he selfish people. <laughs> uh and according to the wiki uh this is this is where most people this game is what mostly knows he has some some friends and allies with ray the flying squirrel uh and his very characters and he does not like dr eggman or metal sonic well of course because they're they're the enemies (laughs) yeah no i know i just (laughs) your your entire fandom is a joke to me cole (laughs) uh, it's not like (laughs) (laughs) it's just it's i'm I'm just arguing that's what i'm making fun of yeah yeah Um, Oh my God, Mighty the Armadillo! Um, yeah, they, they they dropped him. He he was seen as the most uh the most expendable of them. And Jesus yeah. Christ, that fucking design! It, it's a really bad design. Yeah, uh, we talked about Vector the Crocodile a little bit, who's too tall. Mm-hmm. Uh, to me, he breaks. Um, he, he's he breaks the, head, the model. Head, no. Yes, uh, he's the head honcho of the Chaos Detective Agency, which he founded <laughs> with Espio and Charmy. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I, I love both those things head honchos and detective agencies also yeah. these fuckers are detectives yes the kid, these are detectives so in case they didn't come through in the game uh they're they're, they're doing detective work um he uh he's large and opposing with a kind heart okay um he's ready to take any job that pays but will always help those in need for free so he does pro bono work okay um and he has a charitable nature leaving his agency perpetually short on money um loves music mm-hmm. um he's he's even though known. he sometimes has bad manners he's known for his love of music because he owns headphones <laughs> yes and he's always wearing them which should be his love of rudeness like yeah yeah you know put those things away i mean we're talking he, he could he could just be trying to not be bothered you never put on headphones so people wouldn't bother you maybe it's just do, an not when i'm like hey not when i'm chained to a bee <laughs> <laughs> when i'm riding the bus yeah but not when i get it when i'm in b chain yeah oh you know? god i would to, i'd put on uh, i put on headphones in meetings Gary, yeah oh i mean the headphones are great uh, how many paragraphs don't like don't scroll down how many paragraphs are there listed under personality for vector the uh, vector the crocodile <laughs> uh six eight maybe that's my guess i didn't, I didn't eight scroll down for okay. personality <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I, uh, big doubt. I, I don't think that he has eight <laughs> paragraphs worth of personality just to say he's rude, but likes his friends. That's what I mean when I say this fandom is a joke. And yeah. when I say a joke, I just mean it's for obviously for very little kids. Right. And, and that's it, fine. You were a very little kid. Yeah. It like, it was, it was made for very little kids and was never intended to be grown up with, you know, like, yeah, just kinda, yeah. It, it, was, it, it was supposed to die in the nineties. Right. You fools. <laughs> like, <laughs> Can't you yeah, see we don't want to go like, on? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. The, the, nobody wants to go. Charney, he doesn't want to go on, you fools. Like, quit lit, lit her out of storage. You know? Stop stop making her pregnant with the honey mines. Mm-hmm, and just, mm-hmm. uh, you know, let her go. Let her die a natural death. 
it also includes, sorry, just the, the way that they put it, it also includes the brief return of Mighty the Armadillo. I just, <laughs> Thank God. I just, I just love the idea, you know, the Chaotix is there, they're, you know, getting ready to work on their next album or something, and who rolls in? It's this Armadillo who's kind of can I get, get kind of fat and doesn't have any hair. Oh, it's Sid Barrett, next, AKA, aka Knuckles yeah. Chaotix, <laughs> aka the Armadillo. The next album or the next case. Yeah. Because it's it's pretty hard to tell what's going on. It's a little bit like an Osmonds. Are they a band? <laughs> they're a detective. They they're a mystery solving band. <laughs> God, Jesus Christ. Uh, so this, this guy, Vector. Uh, also, there's already a really big Sega Genesis character named Vector or Vector Man. Yeah, yeah. you know. But naming him Vector feels really off to me. Uh huh. I don't think that's right. Yeah. Um, uh, Ch- Charmy B, which we talked about. Yes. Uh, who you said becomes a Navi. My mm-hmm. character uh, eventually becomes like Sonic shaped, but with B features. Mm-hmm. And this is just a B. Yeah, it's a it's 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 a B. Uh, where, where's fl- flight helmets, which uh, mm-hmm. or you know like flight goggles, which uh, this is not the first time that I've seen that <laughs> happen. With <laughs> <laughs> the the, the, so the first sentence under personality on the wiki is good shaped yet sloppy. <laughs> Period. <laughs> <Full sentence. laughs> That's, that sounds like nice Pete from Akewood. Yeah, you got yeah, you, well, you got a good shape, but you sloppy boy. <laughs> that's not a personality. <laughs> good shape yet sloppy isn't a personality, Sega. <laughs> really disbelief. They have a nice silhouette. What are you fucking talking about? <laughs> <laughs> cool powers. Oh no, color powers. <laughs> uh, they had a cool powers. <laughs> <laughs> Only the cool um, powers, please. I didn't realize Charmy was a boy. Um, I like a a boy. Ner- it's like a normal thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Charmy has exercised yeah. a more enthusiastic relationship with Shadow the Hedgehog, having demonstrated how much he respects and admires him by often saying how, quote, great Shadow is and why he looks at him as a role model. No, Charmy. <laughs> <laughs> Char- don't do it, Charmy. Hey, Charmy, he shoots people with guns. <laughs> yeah, he, like, well, Charmy's just woke. Like, Charmy likes that he executes cops because that's most of what Shadow does. That is most of if you recall, does. it is the Shadow game where you get to kill a lot of cops execution yeah. style. A <laughs> <Hey>, cabs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, Charmy's signature technique is the dash. Yep. You don't say. Oh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> how rare that's really good that they were able to find one of the few people in the sonic world that knows how to dash <laughs> i would have thought Fuck flight me. would have uh would have would have uh you know i think so yeah you know or honey making or something mm-hmm. um sbo the camille again uh which is just sonic's body with like a gross dinosaur head yeah i mean just imp- I- impossible to look at uh because yeah. it has the big sonic eyes but like it's more heavily hooded so that like this big fl- this big flap of flesh can come down and he can have a horn instead of a nose like a chameleon yes. does yeah uh <laughs> disgusting mm. um he's a straight laced detective he's serious practical intelligent and wise and has a militaristic discipline yeah. Uh, while initially hot-headed when introduced, SBO has since become a calm, soft-spoken, serious, and disciplined person whose wariness and soulful character makes him a vital member of the team and balances yeah. out the foolishness of his friends. Yeah, like, it would be, out of all of the characters to be, mm-hmm. this would be the worst one. This would be like if I joined the Chaotix. <laughs> Like, I don't, I'm not, I don't consider myself militaristic or, or overly serious, uh-huh. but the second I was like exposed to a charmy bee, mm-hmm. I would just be like, I would become Mike Ehrman trout to the chaotix. <laughs> like, you know, I, I cannot countenance any of this Tom now, now listen, here's how it's going to be. I'm going to, yeah, here's how, <laughs> like, here's how it's going to go. Knuckles. <laughs> You're going to leave. Though not a hedgehog, Espio is able to use the spin attack and the various techniques derived oh, from really? it. Oh, really? Yeah. Do tell. <laughs> a character from this game has the exact fucking powers as Sonic, <laughs> like they've been doing for three decades? Hey, Gary, he's a ninja. As a ninja, he employs ninja-based weaponry, such as kunai and shuriken stars. Ah, a militaristic detective ninja musician. Chameleon. <laughs> Why can't he change fucking colors? Why isn't he a stealth character? I mean, I in, this. in this game, he like in, in the original Chaotix, his character is constantly cycling through character or there's a, constantly cycling through colors. 
Yeah. But it doesn't, that's not how chameleons work. They're not no. like disco balls. <laughs> you know, they, they do it for if, a reason. I mean, maybe they're not, he, not a movie. Gary, be sensitive. Maybe he was left in demo mode. <laughs> <laughs> the attract mode. Yeah. I'm trying to attract a mate. <laughs> okay, Espio. <laughs> Relationships. Silver the Hedgehog. When Espio first met Silver the Hedgehog, his mission was to find evidence that Silver was behind the kidnapping of several Chow. <laughs> Oh, God. Cool. <laughs> the protector of all chows. <laughs> the, uh, the, 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 the mole chows. <laughs> We're down on the ground and have to be saved. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Down in the enemies. Uh, Marguerite Taylor, Green Hill Zone. Ooh. Where you have to get the, uh, the, the mole chows. <laughs> <laughs> I, i'm sorry i'm really i'm really fixated on the enemies which includes dr eggman metal sonic uh but also ifrit uh metal sonic 3.0 oh. uh the time eater and then infinite <laughs> <laughs> uh, um hey gary i'm gonna need to direct right. your attention to the infinite right away Okay, hold on. I, I moved on to Heavy the Robot. Let okay, me, uh, no, don't. Let me switch back to SBL the Chameleon and onto the Because time, time Eater is just a big a big ghost made of gears. Uh, but Infinite is the main enemy from Sonic Forces. Oh, uh, goodness. Uh, what is happening there? So this is something that I, that, that I you know, really stuck out to me about. What's that shitty square? This is fucking Wonder. One, oh, yeah. Balam Wonderland. Where yeah, it's just but, but, a, a big, big pile of cum as a main character. Yeah, basically. yeah. Where it's like, if you, you know, if you put this image in front of me and put a gun to my head and said, identify yeah. what the, like, put, like point to the forehead on this thing, I would just look at my family and say, I, I, I'm going to miss you guys so much. Yeah. You know, <laughs> there's a lot I never got to do. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I saw you tweet about that and I, I looked at it and I can figure it out, but it, it is like a magic eye Yeah, when it's supposed to be a mascot. Yeah. And infinite, um, is very much like that. This is what this is like a jackal or something. Yeah. It's like a, okay. So I did identify Eagle this. Fox. Yeah. It's like, it's like, like a jackal, but like he's silver and he has like spirals for ears and like, or like Lightning an asymmetric eyes, like wings yeah. instead of eyes. Uh, this, this is uh, Rain Wilson describing his MMO character Carlor. <laughs> um, <laughs> like he has wings like a, angels and like a demon. <laughs> you know, he, he has fucked anything and will fuck anything. <laughs> uh oh in the caption on an image here infinite slaughtering a group of soldiers without remorse <laughs> <laughs> they, they need to do uh I think that if Sonic uh, wanted me to be into it, it would have went to the Sonic the Hedgehog, like summarily executing cops like Shadow <laughs> and just let lean into it so hard. Uh huh. Like just do these games where it's all like, oh, here's infinite, like joining Hamas. <laughs> here's, here's, here's infinite, you know, uh, planning a uh just like you know a raid you, you know the like, treasury. I, I'd, I would probably i did, did disagree with, disagree with a lot of it like it's not stuff that i would like like sanction but at least it's gutsy you know yeah i mean that, that it would be funny to me, as opposed to just it's like real funny to join a boss. Crime. it's one of the funniest things a person can do actually is what <laughs> join, I, I join, the, join yeah. hamas yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a barrel of chuckles. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> yeah. Fuck the boss. But. <laughs> yeah. I, just a uh, boy ready to drop the sun on the resistance. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, He's quote, really ugly. Quotes. I find, I find this character to be really some of the worst. Infinite speaking to Shadow from episode Shadow. You, you destroyed my squad. I'll show you why they call me the ultimate mercenary. Take this. I hate anime so much. I, I, I just I, like, I understand that's a, but that's what I'm talking about, man. That uh -huh. shit fucking sucks. Yeah. I understand you destroyed my squad. Squad. Now take uh -huh. this. Go to hell. Uh, <laughs> man, infinite fucking sucks. Wow. The, the, being a really bad character design in the Sonic universe is tough. Yeah, it really is. You know, and gets harder too. Like, you know? Yeah. Like the curve is extremely generous. Mm hmm. You know, th this this is everybody in the class is getting a D. All you have to do to get an A plus on this paper is show up. Uh huh. You know, and just don't uh, wipe your ass with it. Show up. Wow, a freight is just a dragon from Sonic Rivals too. 
<laughs> okay. Cool. Well, that ends up making more sense. Yeah. Yeah. A free um, makes... Heavy the Robot and Bomb uh, <sighs> don't have very much personality or story or anything. No. Even though Bomb uh, has a tendency to blow up when things look bleak. <laughs> which I'd say. <laughs> I mean, same. <laughs> Big mood. Yeah. <laughs> Relatable. <laughs> Big mood. Bomb has a tendency to blow up and things look bleak. One sentence personality <laughs> from the cha- the chaotic instruction manual. Oh god. Uh, whereas heavy the uh, the robot doesn't have a personality section. No, no, he just I mean it's just a hunk of metal. Yeah, this piece of shit. <laughs> I wouldn't have hired him to join my detective agency. No, I, I yeah. think I, I just I would you know and if you if he wasn't my detective agency, ah uh, sorry we went bankrupt we can't do this and then quietly form another yeah. one without him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, no heavies club. Yeah, you know, well, you can have one. Uh, the uh, yeah, oh, I would Jesus. say the, uh, turn off the lights and pretend not to be home. <laughs> up. Oh gosh, fucking bomb mm-hmm. and heavy, dude. I was depressed by the music in this because that's the one thing. You oh know, yeah, like you can count on in the, the series is like even when they're not good, mm-hmm. like the music will be good, but the music was pretty bland in this. I felt yeah. It just did all that it shared, it, you know, was just, oh, it's using the Genesis sound palette, which is going to be, you know, charming no matter what. Yeah. yeah. But it wasn't, the compositions weren't very good. Right. Yeah. You know, it was, it was like a, like a (laughs) shitty picture painted with good crayons. Yeah. None of the, uh, just not the sheer, just wall to wall bops of Sonic 2. Yeah. Yeah, The funk, Mm -hmm. you know, like Sonic is all about, uh, cool funk, like syncopated rhythms and shit. And they kind of just don't do it. Mm Mm-hmm. In this one Ooh, um, the co- yeah, this, this I, game, I, I think i, I think i actually have i still have the uh the knuckles chaotix comic uh in the, one the of those boxes page collector's edition uh maybe yeah yeah <laughs> you had to look at that chameleon on the cover though yeah yeah it's it's an ugly uh, cover anyway what's that big red thing oh uh, it's that's yeah. a mecha sonic or something yeah pretty bad it's very ugly um this was <clears throat> originally known as a game called sonic crackers yep which I really wish they just released as Sonic Crackers. <laughs> because I think, I think that crackers, I want to make crackers a fun suffix. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh-huh. like, I, th- I think that's, it's, it's a good, it's a good one. We can bring crackers back. It just sounds like a, just, I mean, it sounds like a good snack is a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. The, <laughs> sorry. One of the headings on the wiki is just the chaotic connection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a lot like the French connection. <laughs> um, <laughs> The uh, fucking chaotic dude. Oh Jesus! But yeah, like those, with these chaotic Sonic Crackers was like again a prototype they should have abandoned. Uh, where yeah. it was it was Sonic and Tails that were joined together by the Band of Rings, and just yeah. I guess when they were when they, when they had to ship something and they were looking around the shop like that, like those were the particular sweepins that they decided to press together to make into this. Well, they yeah. should have made Sonic Sonpreg and had this be an umbilical cord. Oh God! To one of the chows or one of the babies that he has. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. No. Give just... me something in an Mpreg Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not just Sonic Dreams Collection. Right, right. Mpreg Sonic, which is you know genius. Mm-hmm. Um, but just in in canon. Has Arcane Kids done anything recently? No, I, th- I think that they got a lot of their stuff got shut down. Really? Because they were just like playing fast and loose with copyright stuff. Yeah, you can't. Uh, I was going to, for last um, Duck Stream, we were going to do like a, a, a highlight, uh-huh. you know, kind of like a showcase of it. But you um, you can only watch videos of House of a Thousand Snakes. Oh. You can't play it anymore. <laughs> I, I love that for years and years. You just have always said that name wrong. What, what is it actually? <laughs> it's Room of a Thousand Snakes. Oh, okay. Gotcha. You're thinking of House I'm of a Thousand Snakes. House of a Thousand Spikes. Yeah. Uh, or, or no, you're thinking one thousand and one spikes. You're thinking, and also you're thinking oh, about yeah. uh, the house of a thousand corpses. Yeah, yeah, that's, or the house of a thousand leaves. I'm thinking of one of those. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, room, yeah, I think room, I'm getting a thousand corpses. <laughs> yeah, a room of a thousand snakes. I mean, I mean, it just literally just plays the loop from Bittersweet Symphony. <laughs> it's really fun to play, though. <laughs> I, like you can watch the video, but that's that's a good ass game. <laughs> Sonic Dreams Collection is also really good, and and everyone should play it. Yeah, it's my my favorite Sonic's game, hand down. Oh yeah, hands and down. like the game that is most representative of Sonic's legacy on the internet. You know, one hundred percent. It's it's brutal <laughs> uh, as as, an, as a concept, similar to the Bubsy Bubsy Three D Visits the Game Store retrospective. Which <laughs> oh, those guys are good. Yeah, um, if we could get a copy of all those, that'd be a good waff. Mm-hmm. Like just do do the whole series because those guys are very funny. Yeah. Me. 
and the, 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 I mean, I've never played like Perfect Stride or Crap No One Loves Me. So, yeah, yeah, it would be a good excuse to. Yeah. Um, do you have anything else? The, the Game Facts is all over because it's a Sonic game. There are lots of people who love it. Yeah, there are apologists uh, and, there are people and people who are like, like, you know, all they can mount is just a real weak defense of it. You know, like not yeah. people say. Why do people dislike this? Yeah, no, there's not there's not an awful lot more um, uh, about this. I think we had everything that I wanted to. And it's just funny, funny thinking about how much, <sighs> like how much space these guys took up in my imagination, and then yeah, and then nothing. It was like me with the defenders of Dinatron City. Yeah. Um, the one review thing, one of the reviews <clears throat> is titled "Like Eating a Knuckles Sandwich." Yeah, uh-huh. and it did make me think about eating all of these characters. And how out of all of them, I do think that Knuckles is probably the one that would be the best to eat. But he's he's so muscular, so stringy though. Yeah, well, you, you get like a nice lean steak. You make a bitong. Oh, okay. Got to cook you know, it. Yeah, got you know, got to cook it like a flank steak. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you 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 stew a Knuckles, hmm. like because you don't uh, uh, charming or the chameleon, you know, mm-hmm. big no, but also he has like horn and brow. Like most of that's yeah, like yeah cartilage. Uh, Charmy B is a B. Right. Um, the, uh, vector you could eat, but I don't want to scale something that seems gross to me. And then the armadillo, it's like, yes, it comes in its own bowl. Well, you get you fucking leprosy, you, dude. Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. Like it's, it's, it's poisonous. Yeah. So out of all of them, the echidna is probably the one I want to eat the most. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, I, you know, know I, I would, I would do a uh, vector, uh, a, there's more of them, but yeah, also right. like, you know, I've, you know, you know, it, it just tastes like chicken. You know, your your crocodile yeah, yeah. Uh, gator. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I got no problem with eating gator. Um, um, the message board, I do love this. Just for the implications, there's a topic. Uh, Knuckles had his own game before Crash Bandicoot uh, from yeah. Gumball Thirty Six <laughs> six years well. ago. Knuckles the Echidna had his own game, Knuckles Chaotix, in 1995, and the first Crash Bandicoot game came out a year later. Uh, and then Ugly Joe mm-hmm. responded, "What franchise was Crash originally from?" <laughs> <laughs> which there, there 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 are three interpretations a this is a funny joke which it is a funny joke uh b this mm-hmm. is like the spirograph guy from the simpsons like have you <laughs> have you noticed that there's a correlation between the, the decline of popularity of spirographs and, and like teen crime yeah. um, think about it yeah, yeah think about it i will <laughs> no you won't <laughs> or like i love this as just a bird on crash bandicoot that like knuckles had his own game before crash was even conceived <laughs> I think that's the idea. I yeah. really do think it's just supposed to be a burn, uh, which is very strange. <laughs> the definition of a weird flex. Yeah. Oh man. But that's all I had. That was that. That was all that I had by way of good tabs. Oh, Sonic. <laughs> um, yeah. Thanks for, uh, thanks for throwing this on our pile goal. Yeah. And thanks yeah. everybody for listening. Mm hmm. Uh, thank you for listening. If you are listening and you want to uh, get more episodes and support us, go to patreon.com slash duckvtv. Uh, we get two extra episodes per month. And at the $10 tier, you can get all 100 and I think 18 plus of them now. Yeah. yeah. Plenty. Plenty. Yeah. Uh, honestly, too many. And plenty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, ratings, reviews on Apple Podcasts, telling your friends. So those things are all useful. Mm hmm. Uh, what do they do until next time? Cole? We, we keeping you awake there, bud? Uh, barely. I, I, uh, yeah, I got, I need another cup of coffee here. Oh, okay. All right. Well, so, Gary, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step and grab that. <laughs> oh man. As our, uh, as our friend know you from Adam on Twitter always says until next time, think of your own damn outro. Mm-hmm.